Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to bring this makeup tutorial to you today. Now I am nowhere near a professional makeup artist. There are plenty of them on here on YouTube that know exactly what they're doing. And this is probably not the tutorial for you if you have all day long to do your makeup because some of us don't. So this is why I'm bringing you this tutorial. If you have kids, if you're a college student, if you just don't have a lot of time to do your makeup but you still would like to look put together, then this is the tutorial for you. I have three children, a three month old, a three year old, and a seven year old stepdaughter that we have half the time. So I'm pretty much a mother of three and let me tell you, I have barely any time to get ready for myself. I have about 10 minutes in the morning to get my makeup on and to get myself ready. That's about as long as my son will sit in his rock and play and tolerate it before screaming his head off. So this is the makeup that I do almost every day. If I have somewhere a little bit more special to go to, then I will do a lot more of an elaborate makeup look. But this is just easy. It's a get out the door, still look put together kind of look for those of us that don't have a lot of time. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and don't freak out because you're about to see me without any makeup on. Okay, so we are going to start with IT Cosmetics CC Cream, and this is in the color Light. I really like this stuff. It's so easy, I just use my hand to put it on. Y'all, don't be terrified. I did not get any sleep last night. My husband's gone. I do not sleep well. I have never put my makeup on like this before. This is weird. Anyways, this has sunscreen in it. And that way you don't have to put sunscreen on your face. I do not like to put sunscreen by itself on my face. so. And this doesn't break me out, obviously, or I wouldn't wear it. Um, this is usually as close as I get to foundation. I only wear foundation for like really special occasions. So this works really well. I'm still going to use a little bit of concealer just under certain places. But as you can see, this has already really smoothed out my complexion and all I used was my and hand. This is the Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the Brightening shade. I've used the other ones before and I'm not so crazy about them, but the brightener one is perfect for under eye right here to especially if you didn't get any sleep like me Where you have kids and you never sleep like me So I'm just gonna dab this under here A little bit down my nose and right there Y'all this is really weird. I am definitely definitely out of my comfort zone because I really do not feel like I do makeup well but someone requested this tutorial and I'm gonna do it Now I'm going to use one of my other favorite products and this is the NYX Wonder Stick in light medium. I've used the Universal and it's not as great as this one for me, for my skin tone, but I really, really like this product. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw some lines right there and then on the side of my nose. Now I promise this does not take as long as it does right now because I'm talking through it. This is a Real Techniques brush. I buy these at Ulta. I know this fish face is attractive. Everything about this video is just so attractive. Okay, so once all that is blended in, you're going to take a blush, and I use the MAC in Melba. Okay. 
I'm actually kind of afraid that when I step out into like my bathroom and look in the mirror, I'm going to look crazy. And then we're going to take the other side of this stick, which is the highlighter, and I usually just use my finger and go along the top of my cheeks here and right here on the cupid cupid bow i can't talk and rub my lip at the same time and just a little bit down the center of my nose okay today we're just going to be using a cream eyeshadow these are great these are the color metal tattoo by maybelline and this is in barely branded and then i also like the creamy beige so i'm going to start with the creamy beige and that's the lighter color one and i'm just going to stick my finger in there Let's see it's a real pretty just sh shimmery color and i'm going to put it all over the lid okay and then i'm going to take the barely branded which is a little bit of a darker color And this doesn't have any shimmer to it so it looks like this it looks like it does but that's just because of what's on my finger right here and I'm just gonna put this in the outside of my lid that's really it for that I'm going to actually go back with my NYX wonder stick with the highlighter section and go right underneath my my brows right here it's a little wonky but we'll blend it in I just used my benefit gimme brow and this is a sample size I got from Birchbox that I'm out of now and I have to go buy the real thing because I really loved this. This is in the color one, but I also have the Gimme Brow before it was changed. I don't know if the, I'm pretty sure the formula was changed and the outside packaging has changed, but I'm going to go ahead and use this. Alright, so I would like to consider myself a mascara junkie, and my favorite mascara is the CoverGirl Super Sizer. Sorry, the tube is just a nasty mess, but I've been using this one for probably eight months or so, and I have tried other ones in the meantime, and I always come back to this one. I recently tried the Katy Perry, the Katy Cat Eye. No, this stuff is awful awful anyways I really really like this and I'm gonna go ahead and put this on real quick nothing nothing compares to this mascara mm -mm. I should also make it known that I use quite a few coats when I do mascara not just one but you can do however many you want Okay, so you can finish this off with a really quick and easy lip product. I'm going to use the Aquaphor Lip Repair just to kind of give my lips like a smooth base before I put on my lipstick. And I'm going to be using the CoverGirl in the Honeyed Bloom that I showed in my favorites video just because it's so easy to put on and gives just a little bit of color. Usually I would use like a lip liner and... Probably a, a different kind of lipstick if I was going somewhere, but not today. Alright guys, that's it. That is my 10 minute 
Got to get ready real quick mommy makeup tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about the products that I use in this video, I know I kind of ran through them real quick, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. I would love to comment back and let you know what products I use and any questions that you might have about them. I would love to answer them for you. If you're wondering about my hair and why I look a little bit different from when I was doing my tutorial is all I did was run to the other room, throw on a shirt, and I just took my hair down from my bun and sprayed some dry shampoo in it and brushed through it and this is it. These are my messy waves from my tutorial and this is on day three. So if you are interested in how to do those and then how to kind of wear your hair for a few days and get some wear out of it, then go check out that tutorial. That way you can also get this hairstyle that looks a little prettier on day one, but this is how it looks on day three. So that is it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye. My least favorite part of the day. When I run out of coffee.